hi guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for tuning in for yet another video so today i'm going to be telling you guys how much we spend on Hanya every single month um so i'm gonna tell you from delivery to like right now um now that he's six months or almost six months so i'm basically gonna be telling you guys how much we've spent for the past six months each month so firstly for labor and delivery for delivering or getting Kanya into this world we spent an arm and a leg like it was a lot of money if you didn't know um i had an emergency c-section so yeah it was complicated and everything so obviously we spent more than anticipated and for my delivery for for me only for the c-section we spent forty thousand. 500 rands 40,500 rands and then for Hanya if you didn't know again he was in the ICU for a few days for like nine days and for those nine days um the bill got up to 85,000 rands so all in all um we spent 125.5 thousand rands that is like a lot of money that is crazy money um fortunately we did not pay a single cent our medical aid covered everything which we're very very fortunate about for clothes each month obviously it varies but we try to buy something every month just so we don't have too much at it we don't have to buy too much at a time um i know some people shop um for seasons we try to shop every month and um yeah just to make it just so that he has enough just so he has enough and it's not too much on our shoulders and for each month i'd say we spend about 700 to a thousand rands a month um and then number two for food or is it number three number three for food um Hanya was exclusively breastfed um for the first few months of his life um he recently just started solids at four and a half months going on to five months and we got um, the go ahead from his pediatrician to to do so to start him on solids um, so we only just started spending money on food now because obviously breast milk is free we consciously and intentionally chose to breastfeed him and we'd only spend on breast milk bags and each month would buy a box a single box of those packs and those costed 120 rands a month so because like most of the times we'd use like those containers that you reuse that you just wash and then reuse again so we wouldn't really spend that much on those and most of them we honestly got free from the hospital so yeah that is how much we'd spend on his food and then for formula feeding moms obviously it's different um the cost is much much more we we saved a lot from breast um feeding exclusively but for formula feeding moms um expect to pay 430 rands for one tin and babies need about like two tins every month two to two and a half tins every month um and that could take your food um total to 860 rands a month more or less no most likely more not less um and then on toiletries we wouldn't really spend that much we don't really spend that much honestly kanya doesn't get through too many toiletries um every month we use the epimax body wash and body lotion and for each of those um we spent 95 rands for each bottle which is about 190 rands yeah 190 rands um for both and we buy those every second month not even every month we buy it every second month so maybe we could spend about a hundred bucks a month on those so yeah let's say a hundred bucks a month and for things like baby oil and baby bum cream and those kind of things guys they last forever those things um Hanya is still using the same baby oil he used the first time or when he was born honestly they they last very very long so yeah i wouldn't really like count them in our budget but just to you know for argument's sake let's say we spend about 50 bucks on those so let's say 150 rands on toiletries 
right yeah and that's including that's excluding nappies so on nappies we use pampers premium yeah we use pampers premium and we use about two packs of the mega mega packs and we spend about um 260 rands for one pack and if we use two we spend about 520 rands on both packs every month and yeah and then on wipes we buy a box a six pack box um for 145 rands and he only uses that one box every month so 145 rands for wipes and then medical aid we spend a thousand four hundred rands on medical aid and then we take Hanya swimming every we try to take him every week and we spend about a thousand seven hundred rands on that um i know there are definitely cheaper places you can take your baby for swimming but like we felt like he was still small and yeah we didn't want to risk it so we spent a thousand seven hundred rand and it obviously it's not necessary but like yeah that's just us and then we also have a budget for miscellaneous things so maybe if it needs a teether or toys or whatever extra things that we might not have necessarily had in our budget we do have like a separate um budget for those we try to budget maybe like 500 rands or 600 rands for those obviously we don't try to spend it all um, but we just make sure that the money is ready and available for that and then yeah that's pretty much it oh and he recently started on solids so we spend about um 50 rands on his porridge one box is 25 rands so we get two boxes each month and yeah we spent 50 rands on porridge and then um on purity he has purity twice a day and that's about how many i think 60 60 purities a month and that's like 780 rand so it is quite expensive it is definitely cheaper um making your own food at home but this is just like what we prefer right now and what's convenient for us so we are very big on sales so whenever we get a good deal we make sure we buy thing our things in bulk i can confidently say we have never really bought nappies um um for full price we always bought them on sale like your mama magic expos your baby expos your sales at this camp recently baby city had a sale um and we bought like boxes and boxes of nappies um last year we went to mama magic and we bought like a whole lot of nappies and we still have those nappies even today um so like if you can just like try to you know set aside a budget for those kind of things whenever sales you know um whenever you get a good sale just like purchase things in bulk so that you don't have to pay full price well ap max we got it on sale um at this came it's been on sale for the longest time and baby city as well it's been on sale for the longest time so we try not to you know spend too much or buy our things for the actual full prices um so with clothes and stuff guys like please just prepare it's really just preparing i know six thousand rands or seven thousand rands is a lot of money every single month but i swear if you prepare soon enough which we we started buying kind of clothes and getting his room ready as soon as we found out we were having him so we tried to pray pray as much as we could a lot of the clothes that he was wearing like he we got them on sale okay and for the baby room i forgot to mention how much we spent on that for the cots we spent um three thousand three thousand one four hundred and ninety nine four hundred and ninety nine we spent three thousand four hundred and ninety nine rands on the cards and then the chest of drawers were about four thousand two hundred no mm -hmm. And the chest of drawers were about 3.7, is it, babe? Um, and then we um, went to Baby City Bay and they were like 4.7. Oh, yes. And then we went back to, to Baby City literally probably a week later. And mm -hmm. yeah, the prices were insane. They were like 4,000 something rands for... Literally 1,000 rand each over for everything. Is it? Each. They were 1,000 rands over for each thing. So, yeah. So 
yeah that's how much we spent it it was about i think all in all i could say for the baby's room we spent nine thousand rands nine to ten thousand rands putting it together ten thousand no yeah we spent about ten thousand rands but obviously that wouldn't have been possible if we hadn't prepared and planned i think i am big on planning like don't just do things like really just plan for them and take your time about seven thousand rands or let's say six thousand five hundred rands obviously it can be cheaper obviously if you have cheaper alternatives um such as removing the swimming um which was a thousand seven hundred rands removing the purities you can make your own food which we spend um 780 maybe if you make your own food it could be even like 300 rands a month um you can get like cheaper nappies because we use pampas premium you could get like cuddlers or something like that or i know haggis is a bit cheaper um body lotion we use epimax because he has sensitive skin and he's prone to eczema so like we we have to use that um we have to use epimax but really like your body washes and your body lotions are about like 35 rands or something for a baby um what else can you cut on medical aid i don't know i feel like medical aid has become an, a necessity it has become very very important so i feel like clothes as well you don't think so no 700 to a thousand rand guys clothes at ackerman's are not bad okay, yeah because yeah, we buy most of our clothes at woolworths so maybe mm. yeah not even most all of our clothes we get them at wool at woolies so maybe ackerman's could be cheaper so maybe you could cut maybe maybe like make it 500 rands a month on on clothes what else can you save on here if you exclusively breastfeeding yeah no but like that's excluding the formula oh by the way the 6500 rands that i got to is excluding the 860 rands is it yeah it's on formula it's excluding so yeah hey, babies are expensive guys they are really expensive they just need you to plan and prepare um yeah yeah guys so that's what i can say that's all i can say you have nine months not even nine he's waking up <laughs> you have nine months okay maybe not nine let's say eight or seven if you find out at a later stage to prepare you have a long time to prepare and yeah thank you so much for watching guys um please don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys on my next video